in the field of science, I've got a curious mind to discover something new, to discover the world around me, to let my imagination run wild. So lucky to be in a profession that I love. Every child dreams of becoming a hero. I always wanted to be a scientist. Become a scientist. A physics teacher. A diplomat to communicate with other planets. Hi, I'm Feng Xiaojuan. I'm a soil scientist. I have always been very interested in nature. I took a course on soil during my undergrad and realized how intriguing soil actually is. My name is Zhao Li Na from the Institute of High Energy Physics Chinese Academy of Sciences. I've always be curious about outer space, cosmic rays, and high-energy particles. This attraction sparked my interest in physics. My name is Marta Nashkovic. I come from Belgrade, Serbia, and I'm an anthropologist. My passion for anthropology was ignited during my undergraduate studies in Paris. Discovered the relationship between cultural practices and human behavior. Hello, I'm Yang Liangrong. I'm a chemical engineer. Ever since I was a child, I love all the natural things in my surroundings. So natural protection and eco-friendly ideas came naturally. My name is Li Beibei. I'm a physicist. It was during the final two years of my PhD that I discovered my passion for doing research. The postdoc research experience laid the foundation for my following independent research career. There is so much to do and to discover in this intriguing domain. Studying diverse cultural traditions highlights the necessity of structuring a global narrative that views our society as an interconnected unity. Constructing new nanomaterial structures that can support the development of novel drugs. Developing ultrasound sensors utilizing optical microcavities, enhancing ultrasound imaging techniques. To promote people's health and improve their life quality our environmental stimuli responsive separation technologies can make separation processes cleaner and more efficient. Finding ways to promote soil carbon sequestration, reducing pollution and protecting our natural environment to help mitigate climate change. The materials or processes we've explored by practical applications in the market. So the most important milestone in, in my career so far is definitely the, the book I'm writing right now. It is a book on the topic of my doctoral research, which is the relationship between Chan Buddhism and Shaolin Kung Fu. Discovering something new or unexpected is a highlight moment. I'm deeply moved and grateful for the insightful advice and guidance from seniors. It inspired me to pass on this knowledge to younger peers. Witnessing the growth of my students. I'm very proud to have a team of 10 graduate students working alongside me. Passing this passion on to my students encouraging them to pursue science as a lifelong career. Until now, the most uh, formidable challenge was learning Chinese. The first five years when I started my group were the toughest. During the low point in my life, the support of my family was crucial. 
as well as my passion and love for my work. It is the continuous support from my family that motivates me to keep going. I don't think there's any other option. Just hold on. When it comes to something you truly love, you'll find the motivation to persist and not to give up. When I'm feeling down, I allow myself to rest and take a nap. Problems and challenges are inevitable. When faced with difficulties, and I prefer to proceed with life and work at my own pace, gradually solving these problems. Watching American TV shows, they are very entertaining and can help me relieve stress from work. Devote all your energy to acquiring new knowledge and enhancing new abilities to step by step achieve your dream goals. Speak up for yourself, don't be shy. We need sufficient discipline, ethics, persistence, and self-trust, mostly self-confidence. I'm open to try anything. I'm willing to let my imagination run wild. Nothing is impossible. Seek help and support from families and friends because you do need them. Don't keep the challenges or to yourself. The fearless and the experimental spirit. I hope that the science of the future will strive to contribute to the well-being and to the human security. My hope is to see more women taking an interest in physics and the science, contributing significantly to these fields in the future. I would like to quote what Amy in the Big Bang Theory said when she was accepting the Nobel Prize. I would like to take this moment to say to all the young girls out there who dream about science as a profession, go for it. It is the greatest job in the world.